We use them to apply and blend our makeup. We use them in a pinch to pry dirt out of tight crevices. And of course, we use them to clean our ears. Though doctors say to never insert them into the ear canal. Cotton swabs are just one of those little things that are really handy to have around the house. <laughs> Cotton swabs were invented in 1926 by one Leo Gerstenzang, a Polish-born American. He got the idea from watching his wife clean out their baby's ears using a flimsy toothpick stuck into a piece of cotton. Leo set out to design a safer device. He took a thicker wooden stick, wrapped the ends with cotton in such a way that it wouldn't come off and get stuck in the ear. The Leo Gerstenzang Infant Novelty Company marketed this invention. Under the trade name Baby Gaze, many cotton swab makers also produce cosmetic pads. Both start with bleached cotton. It arrives at the factory compressed in large bales. The cotton first goes into a machine called the feeder. From there, into a machine called the opener, which shreds the bales, pulling the cotton fibers apart. Next stop, the carding machine. Its large rollers comb the cotton fibers out. Then, guided by weight-detecting sensors, it produces a uniformly thick ribbon of cotton called a web. This web is now ready to be processed. Into either cotton swabs or cosmetic pads. To make pads, they layer several webs. Just how many, though, is a closely guarded company secret. And so is how much pressure they apply to those layers to compress them. This secret recipe of layers and pressure. Is what ultimately determines the weight of the pad. The heavier it is, the higher the quality because it's thicker. The now compressed layers of web go through a machine called the slitter. It cuts the wide roll into several narrower rolls called header rolls. Each header roll then goes through a machine that stamps on a quilt-like pattern, purely for aesthetics. Finally, using a punching die, they cut the pads. On this production run, each pad weighs about 0.7 grams, but the factory can produce whatever weight the client requests. The cosmetic pads are ready to be packaged. This client wants them in bags of 100. The blue light shows the workers the 100 pad cutoff point. To make cotton swabs, the initial web is divided into four narrower webs, each weighing 1.5 grams per meter. Each narrow web travels through a funnel. Which transforms its shape from flat to round, then it coils into a barrel. The swab making machine then takes the cotton strands from two barrels at a time, feeding a line of cotton to each end of the stick. Like the cosmetic pads, the amount of cotton per stick varies according to the client's specifications. The stick feeder prepares the sticks. Then, as we see here in slow motion, the machine cuts the cotton strand and rolls a piece onto both ends of the stick simultaneously. Just prior, a heating device melted the tips of the plastic sticks so that the cotton would adhere. With wood or cardboard sticks, they glue the cotton on. The finished swabs are sprayed with an antibacterial solution. Here's that action in slow motion. And now, in real time, two thousand swabs per minute. 
Sensors detect any defective swabs and automatically toss them off the production line. If you look closely, every so often you'll see one missing. Finally, a robotic arm grabs the exact number of swabs per box, again determined by the customer's specs, and packages them. The company's lab does spot checks on its swabs to ensure that the antibacterial solution is working and that the products are germ-free.